Everybody, Ralph Havens here. You know, when I was growing up, I <clears throat> tried to do my best and I wanted to do the right thing. And and as I was going through my years, I I did my checkups. You know, I went to the medical system and, and um, did as I was told. I got my yearly checkups and I got my um, dental checkups and I did everything I was told. And as... I was going through life, I started having some, some problems. I, I had teeth that were always having cavities every six months and lots of dental work and um, other health concerns. And, and as I went through and learned the work that, that um, I do now, that I, we use to help people all, from all over the world get over their chronic conditions, as I was learning my, my craft, my, my profession, my, sit, my work here, I, um, I started getting healthier. I got to the point where I didn't have any more cavities. From age 37 on, I no longer had cavities, whereas in the first 37 years of life, I had many cavities. I got over anxiety, and I got over some physical challenges that allowed me to get back to my running. And so, so I've seen a lot in my own world of um, my own health coming back, and I've seen that with my clients as well. And when I was first, you know, in, in the beginning years, I did what I was told. I, I had my yearly checkups and I went to the, the different um, doctors and stuff. But what I've realized is I was given a lot of data that just wasn't true. In fact, it happened even before I was born. My mom, <clears throat> um, back in the early 60s, you know, that was an era when, when people were told um, smoking was okay. And that doctors even recommended it and they recommended the, the cigarettes that they that they used and even for pregnant women and then um, formula came to be something to do and it was deemed more medically safe and and um, clean and scientific and so women quit breastfeeding back in my my era I didn't get breastfed and um and I was given antibiotics before I went to the dentist because of uh, um, uh, scares about infection when you had teeth cleaning and um, and so many things now have come to light in the medical research that said well smoking isn't good for people and it's not good for pregnant women especially and breast milk is actually the best thing you can give a baby <clears throat> instead of formula and the medic the dental profession even came around and said you know um, we had it wrong you don't have to give antibiotics before dental cleanings my dentist told me that many years ago, like, oh, Ralph, you don't have to do that anymore. And so, um, well, the funny thing is I never had to do that before, but I was told these things. So, so much of what we've been told just isn't true. And when you look at the vaccine research now, it's coming to light that we really need to re-examine vaccine safety, that a lot of what we were told just simply isn't true. So, so when we think of health insurance and, you know, just... Um, looking out for danger and having a, a model where you have enough um, resources to go to the medical system and get um, help when something goes wrong, we could flip it and go, what about health assurance? Like keeping our bodies in a state of health so that we do really well and we don't need those kind of things. So, so that's what this work is all about, is to help you get healthier to help your system get healthier and your family healthier and to give you the information that's more in line with how your body really can thrive. And, and then from there, your body can stay healthy and do what it needs to do to, to be well. So, so that's what, it's, um, what this work is all about. So, um, so with that in mind, I want to just welcome you to my world if this is the first video you've, you've seen. And, um, and let me know in the comments below what, what type of challenges you're dealing with and what you've been um, trying to do to, to, to help that. And, um, and let's get out there and get people the information that, that um, is most valuable that can help with your health and help you stay healthy. You know, there was pioneers in, in the past that did things with high integrity. Max Gerson was um, doing stuff with nutrition that was helping people with severe um, life-threatening cancer heal. And um, he was a medical doctor. 
And if you haven't heard his story, I highly recommend looking for his, um, the documentary on Max Gerson. And Weston Price was a dentist who had high integrity and found why um, people were starting to get cavities and why kids weren't thriving back in the 1930s and figured it out. Both of those doctors, if you research them, there's a lot of um, PR and marketing that says that they were quacks and, and um, all sorts of bad things about them. But if you really look deeper, they had some profound inner guidance that they found that can help people. And so, so what I'm looking for is, um, you know, how to get this kind of information out to people so that we can have a choice. You know, um, even though both of those doctors ended up being ridiculed and one, um, it turned out very badly for, for Max Gerson for his own physical well-being he because of what he believed in the thing is people that that value that and saw the truth in that have brought it to to um to us now in the present day time and when you think well it didn't quite work out that well for those guys those doctors that, that stood up with integrity the thing is for the people that it saved now it's so valuable you know there's a lot of people that are now using this ancient wisdom for their health, even with all the PR and marketing that, that says that, um, that it wasn't true. So I encourage you to question, question everything. And what would health assurance be like for you? So comment below, click like, click share, and, um, and welcome to, to our world. All right, let's get out there and live. Let's really live.